हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू डिजीजेस फ्रॉम यूरिनरी ब्लैडर आई ट्राई टू कवर एज मच टॉपिक है एज आई कैन ओके एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट दी क्लास स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टॉपिक एक्टॉपिक वेसाइके इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एक्सट्रोफी ऑफ ब्लैडर डिफेक्ट एंड देर इज एबसेंट क्लोइकल मेम्ब्रेन सी एक्टॉपिक वेसाइके इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ प्री मैलिग्नेट कंडीशन फॉर यूरिनरी ब्लैडर नाउ इन यूरिनरी ब्लैडर हाउ मेनी टाइप ऑफ कैंसर कैन अकर द कार्सिनोमा ऑफ यूरिनरी ब्लैडर इज ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स इट कैन बी द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप इज टी सी सी also known as transitional cell carcinoma it is also known as urothelial carcinoma almost 90% of the bladder tumor is tcc transition transitional cell carcinoma other type is squamous cell carcinoma and next is adenocarcinoma so most common is transitional cell carcinoma then it is squamous cell carcinoma and then it is adenocarcinoma adenocarcinoma is very less it is very less common in uh, bladder okay but when a child is born with ectopic vesicae then there is chance or there is risk of adenocarcinoma okay so they can ask you such questions in your exam which of the following carcinoma is uh, predisposed or ectopic vesicae is pre malignant condition for which type of bladder carcinoma so it's adenocarcinoma now what happens in adenocarcinoma what happens in uh, this ectopic vesicae that is extrophy of bladder there is incomplete development of anterior abdominal wall and also there is incomplete development of anterior wall of bladder so what happens the anterior portion of the bladder is open and the lower abdominal wall is also open so <coughs> this condition is more commonly seen in male child the ratio is 4 is to 1 in male is to female okay now along with this condition along with ectopic vesicae there are other uh, urinary tract defects okay so what are the other abnormalities in the urinary tract that can be associated with this condition so there are many actually there there is a chance of epispadias then undescended testes then bifid clitoris in female widening of pubic there will be widening of pubic symphysis there will be a cloacal extrophy hernia urethral reflex wide pubic bones and externally rotated femur which will produce a waddling duck gait so all these anomalies are associated with ectopic vesicae in exam they used to ask such questions like which of the following is associated with ectopic vesicae which of the following is not associated with ectopic vesicae there was one question they have asked which of the following condition or anomalies is not associated with ectopic vesicae and one of the options were were hypospadias so students hypospadias is not associated with ectopic vesicae it's epispadias which is associated and all these conditions that i have just mentioned they are also associated so they were mentioned in the options so you should know there is a risk of adenocarcinoma and epispadias is usually complete so when there is complete epispadias there will be wide and shallow scrotum in males there will be bifid clitoris with wide separation of labia in females so this anomaly is commonly associated with ectopic vesicae okay now in those children there there is also urinary reflux from the urethric orifices okay so these are all conditions that are associated now coming on to the treatment of ectopic vesicae see when the bladder is open from the anterior side and the anterior abdominal wall is open then what we have to do obviously the urine should be diverted both the ureters are connected in the bladder and bladder is just pouring urine out okay so you have to treat surgically obviously surgery is the only management 
for a topic was like what you will do in this situation the, there are many surgi- surgical options so first we can do is we can do cystectomy we can just remove the bladder obviously the bladder is removed because it is it cannot be repaired or if it is repaired then there are chances of adenocarcinoma so we usually remove the bladder okay we do cystectomy now if we have removed the bladder then both the ureters that were connected what we will do with that ureter obviously it should be drained the urine coming from the ureter should be drained so we can just anastomose that ureter lower end of the ureter to with colon or rectum so diversion of urine is done in colon or rectum with cystectomy so this is the first treatment option other options are we can just remove the bladder excision of the bladder is done and ileal conduit is done what is ileal conduit a part of the bowel or a loop of the bowel is taken and one end is taken out as ileostomy and other end is connected with ureters after excision of the bladder we can take a loop of the ileum bowel usually ileum and one end is taken out from the abdominal wall that is ileostomy is created and on the other end the ureters are joined so usually drain so this is another technique we can just we can uh, this also we can do third technique is enteroplasty what is the meaning of enteroplasty students enteroplasty means you are repairing the bowel with a uh, you are repairing the uh, urinary bladder with a bowel Entro term is used for bowel and cysto term is used for bladder. So you are just repairing the anterior part of the bladder with bowel. Okay, so this is entro cysto plasty. For this fourth option is bladder reconstruction. Along with that, there is the child, the male child can have epispadias. So we can do penis lengthening and creating new symphysis after iliac bone osteotomy. So these are treatment options for ectopic vesicle. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. If I am audible, please let me know by giving a thumbs up sign. Am I audible, students? Okay. Now coming on to the complication of ectopic vesicle. So <coughs> after surgery, there can be total urinary continence or there can be infection with hydronephrosis. There is a term known as pseudo extrophy. where there is no problem with the urinary tract but there is a musculoskeletal defect that is pseudo extrophy okay just you have to know the term now next topic is diverticulum students obviously i will not be able to cover all the topic in this class uh, you can just uh, download the unacademy i will discuss uh, the all the diseases of urinary bladder in that class just now at 11 o'clock i will be discussing all the uh, diseases of urinary bladder okay so you can attend this, that class that's a special class so anyone can attend it's totally free of cost just you have to download the unacademy now next is diverticulum so diverticulum can congenital and congenital diverticulum can be pulsion diverticulum and there are another type of diverticulum known as traction known as traction known as traction diverticulum so pulsion diverticulum is seen in outlet obstruction and traction diverticulum is developed when a portion of the bladder is protruding through the inguinal or femoral hernia orifices forming a wall of hernia or sliding hernia okay now commonest site of diverticulum is near the ureteric orifice where the ureters are opening that is the commonest site that is why it can lead to ureteric obstruction now what can be the complication of diverticulum complication can be recurrent infection squamous metaplasia of the bladder and even carcinoma stone formation in the diverticulum and back pressure changes can lead to ureteric obstruction patient of diverticulum can present with lower urinary tract obstruction recurrent infection stones hematuria and hydronephrosis okay now what you will do for investigation and treatment so investigation we can go for cystoscopy then ivp then micturating cystoscopy and ultrasonography treatment may small diverticulum usually heals on its own and 
स्मॉल डायपर्ट क्लम हील्स ओनली बाई ब्लैड ड्रेनेज और रिलीविंग दी आउटलेट ऑब्सट्रक्शन इट डू नॉट रिक्वायर एक्सीजन और रिपेयर ओके जस्ट रिलीव दी ऑब्सट्रक्शन एंड प्रॉपर ड्रेनेज ऑफ दी ब्लैडर विल हील ओके बट वेन देर इज अ लार्ज डायवर्टिकुलम देन इट रिक्वायर्स एक्सेशन ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो इन दी सो दिस इज दीज आर दी फ्यू डिजीजेस दे आर मेनी मोर डिजीजेज दैट आई विल लाइक टू कवर आई विल ट्राई टू कवर इन दी नेक्स्ट क्लास एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी ऑल द डिजीजेस ऑफ यूरनी ब्रैडर देन यू कैन अटेंड माई अन अकेडमी क्लास स्पेशल क्लास यू कैन अटेंड इफ यू हैव नॉट टेकन सब्सक्रिप्शन देन ऑन सो यू कैन अटेंड so just now i'm i'll be live on an academy and i will take that class i will discuss whole your uh, whole diseases all the diseases including benign diseases malignant diseases of urinary bladder in detail okay so see you there take care bye bye